awkward. <laughs> Allison said, <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. House of the Dragon, season two, episode three, The Burning Mill. Does that mill burn? I think it's where everybody goes out and makes like um, art installations in the mud. You think that's, you think that's what it is? I think that's the plot. Okay. It's a little like Burning Man situation. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. I think that's exactly what we needed for House of the Dragon. Yes. We, I believe, had like a laundry list of things in the last episode that we wanted to happen. And I do believe the internet has lightly spoiled me on the fact that I think like all of them kind of, we'll, we'll discuss afterwards, but there right. are multiple things that I was like, Alex and I were just complaining about this exact thing. I mean, I, my main criticism was Rhaenyra needs to like make a choice, do something, do something, prove to me that she's queen. And I don't blame the character. I kind of blame the way the writers are writing yeah. the character currently. So I would like them to make a choice yes. that proves to me that she it should be queen. I feel like if not, I think they're like, they're like weirdly stranded in the middle with the character. And they need to either make a choice that she's active, she's our our heroine, she's which is the, the one character we things. were introduced to. Yes, or it needs to be the text that she is inert, that she's doing nothing. And I feel like they wanted the praise for like the strong, powerful heroine, but then they're like hamstrung by the text because, from what I understand of the book, she basically doesn't do anything. Well, that's frustrating one because that's not the character that they showed us right and two the whole point of the the intro starting the story where it was was to show her father as king and to show that he was the lackluster i can't make a right. decision king and then rhaenyra is supposed to be like an antithesis of that yeah. like the one that's actually going to like move things forward and, and make a choice otherwise we should have started it with her already starting right. for the crown then that young section is like not important yes exactly so you know here's to hoping Rhaenyra does something is our number one request. Which I feel, you know, is very basic request for your leading character. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a pretty simple request. Um, okay, so the last episode, there was the funeral for the baby. Um, Rhaenyra cowered in fear. Yes, the twins the killed each other and we did- And we did a move. sob over that. That was really <laughs> sad. <laughs> It didn't work for us because we did not care about those characters. They never bothered to make them characters. Um, we did enjoy Allison's children. I or the, know, or we did. Hey, what's his name? Eamon. Aegon. Aegon. They're all the freaking same. Yeah, it's annoying. Yes. That is the unfortunate thing is like, I would maybe probably said this, morally, I'm team black. Unfortunately, team green are the only ones who've been given personalities so far. So I'm like, I mean... I don't know what to tell you. Our Lord of the Seas, um, he said like um, that he liked to be domed and we were all so, yes, so happy and proud, love proud for him. In fact, he was making fun of Damon because yes. he couldn't respect a woman's <laughs> authority. And he was like, funny, I, I like it. When and I and good for him. <laughs> and good for him. And good for him. Also, a thing that I know we said wrong in the episode was that be beautiful new man we saw him watching a dragon and we were like, oh, he's going to fall in love with Bela. That must be Bela. Guys, I think any of you who tell me that you can tell the difference between those dragons are lying through your teeth. The only ones who look at all recognizable are Caraxes with his little snake neck. All of them are identical. The The world of, of Hot D commentary has told me that was in fact sea smoke, Lanor's dragon flying around. How and where and where? Well, we, I that dude looks and we, it was a flying up there and he anyway so we were on the complete wrong track with that I also think like if they're not gonna make them like color like really recognizable then they need to have a way of introducing them yes <laughs> somebody could have said yo it's sea smoke 
Lainor's dragon. Right. Like, remember Lainor, who's not really dead, but we thought he, you know. I think it would have been really flawless dialogue. For sure. For sure. For sure. And, and you're right. And wait, <laughs> wait, do we think Lenor is back? I don't think so. Because I didn't see him coming back. I don't think so. And I remember people talking in season one, like massive question marks over the fact that they like whitewashed Damon and Rhaenyra by having them not actually kill Lenor because they were like, so Sea Smoke's rider is still alive question mark, question mark, question mark, which I assume means someone is going to ride Sea Smoke and they should not be able to because he already has a bonded rider. Well, right. Who is alive. Right. Like, t- was Sea Smoke, like, homophobic? <laughs> <laughs> like, not an ally of Sea Smoke? Really abandoned. <laughs> exactly. His master. He was like, well, I hope you and bo- your boyfriend have fun living in sin. <laughs> <laughs> did Lador like throw a rock at Sea Smoke's head and said, Don't follow me? He said, Go on, get, get on back. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, so excited to um, see them not address that at all. Yeah. Guys, I'm, I don't know why I'm so stinky, stinky, stinky disappointed. I want to be changed because I really love dragons and yeah. I really love the actors in this show and I really love the world. I loved. Westeros yeah and I loved Game of Thrones so I'm frustrated currently but I am eager for my mind to be changed it's a very pretty face Mm -hmm. put the boundary stones back Uh uh-oh the teams are fighting just rolled their way over so bracken cows can fill their bellies on blackwood grass fuck the assize not the assize they all have really great noses hmm what did you say? Your false queen Rhaenyra is a kinslayer. Strong Romeo and Juliet vibes. Oh yeah. I bite my thumb at you, sir. I. Oh, oh. Who's whose horse? Whose horses? Let's see a seahorse. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, it can't be because he said your dad pledged for Rhaenyra. Like your king or your whatever. Yeah. So it must be like a new, uh, probably. I'm sure you're right. I've never been good at tracking those. I just feel like I know we should know horses. He saw he's the grave of his brother. No. Still don't know which one. Well, that's why they buried them together. <laughs> they were like, one of them is bad when they went to the whorehouse. They were like, does one of them have a distinguishing mole? <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. He's a little cutie. Yes. I like, um, now have an ot3 with him and his uh sister co-stars yeah like they're putting them together in all the like press and i'm like "Mm." (laughs) i like renice's outfit and i was thinking that i was thinking how can i rephrase that that it's not an insult but i was gonna say i think the costumes are better this season they really just let this one dude he's gonna fill the whole grave in by himself also doing a really bad job yeah, you gotta get more dirt buddy <laughs> he's like oh i'm doing it when last we met alicent said i would make a fine queen there is no war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin and no war so bloody as a war between dragons i think they should have them together in every scene like why isn't she her hand right it is not her but the men around her who seek bloodshed she permitted it as you permitted the murder of a little boy in his bed. Point. To be fair, she didn't permit it, but her husband um, is a piece of poo-poo. Well, that's Renius's point. Yeah. I will just say, everybody clearly got a really a nice little tan. Everyone looks really, looks really, really good, good and glowing. Hot. Oh my God, it's gonna take you four and a half years Why to fill that grave. Do- Why? <laughs> like, do you want me to go in there and Not do it? Not to grin, but. I do know what that looks like, and it takes a whole group of people and really committing to the bit. Well, they fully just... What do you do when you get promoted and you lose your identity? Well, profound. <laughs> he can't... Been tidying. Is he literally holding both jobs? Yeah, I think so. That doesn't make sense, guys. Wow, those men hate his friggin' guts. And they should. I'd love that for them. <laughs> My lord. Is he getting double paid? 
<laughs> I want to know. Does he get double paid and laid? Great questions. Is it to replace those we lost. The last one needlessly, some might say. Arik was awarded the great duty of ending Rhaenyra's challenge. He failed to discharge And it. how did that go? He failed because the scheme was rash. Perhaps, Your Grace, but we cannot all hide in our castles waiting for war to come to us. As now it surely will. As now it already has. Ooh, ooh, a little tiff. Hmm. ...themselves to attack the Blackwoods. We declared for the Pretender. Lord Samuel Blackwood Pretender. himself is slain. I don't even know why you were so mad. You look hotter with the black pouch. Call it what you will. He's mad. I call it war. And so will Dragonstone. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Hello? That's your turn, Hand? He doesn't know anything. No. Harren Hall is the key to the Riverlands. I will ride out with those I can muster here, men I know. Men he I makes me miss Tywin. <laughs> I mean, at least he was good at his job. Yeah, he was smart. Remember when... <laughs> so impatient to ride with so few men. <laughs> to be destroyed by the first stronghold you meet. A bold scheme indeed. Well, the gods favor the bold. They did not favor Sir Eric. Mm -hmm. What say you, my king? Why is he angry at her? Good. To war then. It's very entertaining little shit. Yeah, I like his performance. He's fun. It's a brave thought, but we cannot risk your loss. We cannot risk your loss. <laughs> I'm as fearsome as any of them. We know you are, buddy. Alison. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do not confuse mercy with pliancy. Oh, I mean. He's growing restless of late. We cannot know why. Why couldn't we just introduce him there? Mm, yes. Write to Prince Reggio if he will have you and go to him. I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. Teach them, train them, guard them as a dragon guards her eggs. And my sister? I need Bailey here. She's a dragon rider. No grace. I want her to have a dragon so bad. Come on. What about your uncle's dragon? See him I always recognize because he's goofy looking. He's one of my favorites, Joe. <laughs> yeah, no, he's my favorite too. He's, I mean, not least because I could tell him apart. Yeah, I like his three little tails. Yeah, he's a his, cutie. His dumb neck. Yeah, it's great. It's honestly like so fitting. Like Matt Smith also has a dumb neck. Right, exactly. <laughs> They're very well matched. <laughs> what a charming home. I said it to Allison, so I must fairly say it to Rhaenyra. You need to get your house in order. Real. This, uh, if you remember, is where Sir Harwin and his father died by fire. I didn't remember that. How would I ever meant to remember that? Yeah. How did you remember that? That's my guy. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'm so sorry. I, just, I like that he's training his sword like he's uh, in a cop show and that's his gun. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Madame Bouquet, hold your tongue. Your hands your eyes. And that is the hall where they chose Viserys to be king over Rhaenys. Yes. What happened to his little um, experiments downstairs? Great question. Have we checked on his like dragon project? <laughs> Not this horror movie framework. I love this. Oi! I'm claiming Harren Hall. <laughs> well done. They only had one knight protecting all of Harrenhal. My nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire, and his son too, here in this damp place. It, was it is a little bleak. So no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my prince. Your grace. Where? I don't and when so, I, actually, um, you're a prince and you're not a king. You're, you aren't even named like king consort. Right. I'd only assume that as consort. And we are reminded of the perilousness of assumption. Hmm. You tried, Damon. You should know that a substantial number of those swords have now declared and are present. I like the extras they're picking. Everyone has very interesting faces. Mm -hmm. 
Summon your Lord Paramount so that I may... Tr Take off your silly gloves, please, while you're sitting at the table, like something. But he grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak. Nor seal his bowels. Begging your pardon for the impression. <laughs> Perhaps the presence of the crown and a dragon will sharpen minds round these... Did I mention I have a... a dragon? I like the horse armor. Mm -hmm. Your host is mustered and ready to march. He enjoys that. Why is your haircut horrible? He used his nail scissors as he was crying in the mirror. <laughs> Mayhaps I should say, my lord Han. Why are you flirting with Kristen? Very Loras Marjorie vibes. Yeah, yes. Who served three kings faithfully, unseated his hand of the king. How did we not meet him before? Where was he? What a giddy ascent the gods have bestowed on you. Oh, he's a bitch. Mm -hmm. No one is more delighted than I to march out to war with the Dornishman. Sister. <laughs> I thank your grace for her prayers. Did we, did I miss a breakup? Oh my god, look at his horse armor. It's so pretty. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's Night of Flowers. Yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> if dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. That's smart. Same calculation. <laughs> Excuse me? The thing is, it's so obvious that Rhaenys should have been crowned. Yeah. Like, she has the temperament. She has the intelligence. Like, <laughs> like I need her. I need Rhaenyra to make Rainey's hand. I need it desperately. Does she even have a hand? Who's her hand? This council would do well I to remember. remember that their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, a prudent ruler, the wisest of Targaryen kings whose reign outlasted every other, even Aegon the Conqueror's. You all would be wise to shut your traps. <laughs> I bade farewell. Look at her standing on her little crate. Rainer, Lord of the Tides. The girl knows nothing. Well, yes, you bound yourself to a queen. We are at war, Corliss. This conversation scares me. To attend to. Corliss. I don't know. He's like, I don't know why he won't make a decision. It's weird. Like, those are certainly his grandchildren. Right. The little nugget. The warmest stepmother, Ray. I don't know why everyone hates her because she doesn't have a dragon. Right, like, you don't need to chill. Oh, look how beautiful, though. Yeah. Setting the babies off really only works if it's a secret. Just my note for Anira. I love Jaehaerys, but my concern has been more for you and what you have endured. Hello. Uh, I, I forgive you. I said that I forgive you. I think it would be really interesting if she takes her sister Rhaenyra's side. Mm. If she jumps ship. I think it would benefit all of us to prevent our king from being brutally slain by our enemies and his body parts scattered to beasts and his court come to ruin. Would you not agree? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all of the people in the court hating everyone in charge just yeah. being like like that's not like a good stronghold guys no, no, no. they're gonna fold pretty quick <laughs> and his dweeby friends <laughs> i think it's interesting that Eamon hoards the hair straightener <laughs> <laughs> hasn't taught Aegon how to do his hair well he likes his curls <laughs> He's on the curly girl method. He, he, he needs some work. He's, he's well. He's in the beginning stages. Okay, see? I got it. That's you know, fair. That's fair. His hair is getting used to the lack of silicone. Okay. Shall we escort you to the dragon pit, Your Grace? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> good boy. Good boy. So Martin has a new squire that wants bedding in. He's never fucked a woman. But you're sworn to chastity now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Your Grace. Oh no. 
Yeah. Well, that's why we don't hire our dweeby friends. <laughs> I love when we get to see all the inner working networks. Okay, it does seem like they're trying to have like a common folk plot in this season. We made fun of the uh, it sucks to be poor scene last episode. Bastard brother to Prince Damon huh. and the late King Viserys. Uncle to the one true queen. Well, but your hair says you're not. Yeah, like where'd that come from? Maybe your mom? By his hair. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm their half brother, you yeah, fuck yeah. Oh. <laughs> Drinks for all. You still went to the bar, though? <laughs> the way that that man is bringing, like, I've just been on a really fun, loose, set. improv heavy comedy set. I mean, it's lovely. I need energy. Yeah. <laughs> what a fine, sweet thing. <laughs> I love that we just gave this plot from Damon to him. Right. Like, is there is this a genetic trait are we to understand? Hard luck for your squire, though. As you can see, she she's now very much occupied. <laughs> you had way too much to drink. Karina said, I want a quiet life with my kids. <laughs> Get to the trees! Uh, 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 yeah! Girly, fuck him up, Bela. <laughs> okay, see, I can. Her dragon has barred wings. That's a thing I can mm -hmm. remember. And like. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, please. Yes, drive. <laughs> but you can spare the mean one. Yeah, he's fun. Do you want to kill Sir Kristen though? You'll get a a nice treat from me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we do have to give that one to Kristen. Wayne? Yeah. Maybe riding across the open field wasn't the brightest notion. I hate it when he's good at his job. Are we environmentalists? Why don't we just light it all up? It's trees. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it. We must move under the trees and by cover of dark starting tonight. And no fucking ends. It is Prince Damon who ought to worry. Prince Damon has Caraxes. Cole will look to increase his numbers. If Damon dies, we're fine. <laughs> Loose the dragon's root coal out and burn him. Come on, Ree. I have heard your arguments. And we'll consider them. Oh, boy. <sighs> Even your son is doubting you, Rhaenyra. Come on, baby girl. This is a much more interesting episode. Mm hmm definitely. Ah. He needs to stop. <laughs> Look at his ears. <laughs> I thought it was Caraxes. Just like <laughs> stopping in. Let me in. <laughs> Dad, let me in. You just see his little dragon claw coming underneath the door. He's really, it's really scary here, Dad. <laughs> and I have to clean up afterwards. I'm glad she, she got to make an appearance this season. What's happening? <laughs> what was that? Damon? Oh, witchy girl. Season of a witch. You will die in this place. No, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emma? Yeah, Olivia? She <laughs> just won the season. Yeah, you were onto <laughs> something there. <laughs> would you take a hostage? Is that any of your concern? I would speak with her myself. Killing her would be easier. Would it be useful, though? Like, what would it do? Or do I scale the wall and enter her window? There is one place Alison goes, outside the castle walls. Also, babe, you know about the secret tunnels. There was a whole episode about that. It's amazing to have such a good face mm -hmm. that you could be like, 
fully swaddled and he still killed. yeah yeah it's rude actually i have to say rhaenyra scaling the wall and climbing in through her window that was a very romantic imagining there <laughs> what was i supposed to do yeah killing her does absolutely nothing but spur on more work war holding her hostage actually is a good yeah but i don't know if her son cares enough what about mommy issues amen <laughs> definitely <laughs> um she's like, it's a big ass table <laughs> like light a candle somewhere else <laughs> oh, <I've begun> badly. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cute actually the way, the way i shipped them and it took two seconds yeah to do it all over again we watched the tourney together you and i the day my brother was born so you've come to surrender then? I'm usurping my rightful inheritance. Ladies, <laughs> I don't think now is the time for fighting. When was your plan first laid? Was your ambition so cute? He changed his mind, Rhaenyra. He changed his mind. This is interesting. She believes it. She has to. Memory of my mother. I've been at times unkind, but never untrue. I pronounced before all gathered in that room that you would make a fine queen. Do you think me capable of such naked deceit? Mm. What did he say at the end? He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. What? I desire peace as you do, but to possess... Did my father use those words? The prince that was promised? Did he? Yes, he did. It's a story he once told. <laughs> About Aegon the Conqueror. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Alison said... <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. And then he said, but not Rhaenyra. That's what he said. What you gonna say about that, Ali? <laughs> embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Let's go before you are discovered. There's been a mistake. There's been no mistake. Please. Curly pub. You can prevent this, Alison. Honestly, I mean, it, it's she, well she, out yeah. of her hands now. Do not let your pride blind you. There's been no mistake. Alison, now you know. I mean, if I were her, I'd double down, too, because everything's fucking nuts now. Like, what are you going to do? Be like, oops, my bad. And it doesn't change anything. I'm lying. I'm with her. <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. It's rough for her. Like, she's literally started a war. Yeah, yeah. Although Otto already had plans to put Egon on the throne. She just helpfully was like yeah, yeah yeah i think it would be good for rhaenyra to have her on her side like i think mm. if she could be a spy for rhaenyra then it could be helpful yeah i agree but this was kind of a fool's errand right oh fine sure with love and respect dear like i love it right actually i loved it so much it's it's easily the best thing that's happened in this season so far absolutely okay so okay well color me shook that we wanted right we're yeah. to do something now this did it, it accomplished nothing but she did make a choice well i do think it it knocked allison off her little toesies mm, yeah and you know what it does for me it gives me hope that those those ladies might be friends again yeah they'll patch it up um yeah i think rhaenyra did something i think it was I think it's a clever plan. I don't think Allison has any power anymore. So mm -hmm. it's like not, but like Rhaenyra wouldn't know that. Like when right. Rhaenyra left, Allison had a lot of power. Yeah, that's true. So I think it is a smart plan and it is a smart plan to appeal to Allison's um, want of peace. I do think it was smart of Allison to be like, I've never been a liar. Right. That was you. Right. You know, yeah, like bringing that old wound up. I like Loki felt like Rhaenyra should have punched her 
when <laughs> she realized that this whole thing started over a dumbass mistake. I'll just say, guys, a note for the future. Stop naming your kids all the same name. This is why. Like, this is this You is can't do that stupid. and believe in prophecy. Okay, right. what is he going to say? Struggle. What was he supposed to say? My little... The, the way he's never even cared about Aegon. Right. So, like, why? Right. Like, Alicent must know now. She's like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That's why he never bothered to do one damn thing. With his son. That's why Aegon is such a little shitty badoo. Yeah. Right. Like, although never stopped him from climbing on top of Allison again. Well, <laughs> Viz, we still have some. We have some things we needed to work out before yeah. you you left us, yeah. but that's okay. Um, Damon and the season of the witch yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. In- this is good I, if he spends the rest of the season wandering around a haunted castle like being scared i right the, we love her uh, i am obsessed with her we she said maybe three words yes was on screen she for said, 0.2 seconds you're gonna die here like, whatever she's doing i'm here for it i'm actively obsessed with her yeah um she fills me with intrigue these visions are incredible i loved that we got to see baby rhaenyra again because yes. we loved that actress yes. from season one um yeah this overall episode was like way more interesting than the first two personally i liked that the characters in the world seem to be as frustrated as we are with rhaenyra mm-hmm. like they're starting to get even rhaenys who like threw her vote of confidence behind rhaenyra because rhaenyra wasn't hasty i feel like you're starting to see her be like okay but you do have to choose something i do think the f- i do think that I'm more on board now that we're like starting to see how it's panning out. I I think there's something to be said that Rhaenyra had like 10 years of like calm motherhood and she's getting back into the spirit. She's refinding herself again, which I think is an interesting plot. Um, And I think she has to do something now because this Alicent scheme, it it didn't work. It didn't go anywhere. I think it's interesting that she has come more alive now that Damon is gone, considering how much we rooted for them in the first season mm-hmm. and how much we wanted to see them playing together. I don't really have like a, an analysis of that. It's just something I noted. I don't ship them anymore, for sure. I mean, the last episode of season one certainly dis- uh disavowed me of that ship and then these first two episodes did nothing to to change that yeah. and so now I'm like Damon either get your shit together or get lost you know like or just stay in your Scooby-Doo episode like yeah die about. with the witch I don't know I just think Rhaenyra is strongest when she's paired against another like strong woman yeah like when when her and Rhaenys were really good and her and the Allison scene were really good and I just think like Rhaenyra the character Mm -hmm. can't trust men Mm. because the men don't trust her yeah so I think she just needs to get herself a whole party of of women advisors I think while Bela felt bad and I'm sorry for that I actually do think it was good strategy to pack up the vulnerable babies and send them somewhere else even get them overseas like I just she, don't think I trust that guy enough to defend them oh uh, which guy the one the, the like the one whose house they were at that like where their mom died oh sure like uh, he was nice and all yeah no I um but well, she's sending her to her Ken's woman first. In, oh, yes. In, I don't remember where. Airy, right? I think so. Yeah, because it's an oh, Airy. Yeah, she yeah. said my cousin, something Airy. Right. Aaron. Aaron. Yes. Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. Yes, you're right. Jane Aaron. Jared, Jane. Jane Aaron. <laughs> I was like, wow. I was like, Jane Aaron. Yeah. yeah funny i know that's why i was like I, something about the name it stuck out to yeah me. that's because we were reading the caption so i didn't make the connection until yeah. you just said it anyway uh okay so the thing is that that we didn't talk about in the episode that was daenerys's eggs that she just sent yes bela off with 
and an extra. Although an extra, the, you say the yes, the really the, the the good nerdy sources online say that that actually doesn't track at all for the book. It's a whole different source, and Danny's eggs are already like a long, long time ago over the sea, most likely. I do think we have to let them make changes. Otherwise, it's going to be a really bad show. Yeah. So I, I think it's interesting that it's Danny's eggs. I think it's interesting that there's a fourth one. Maybe Bela's getting her, it's getting her shot. Shoot. So apparently in the books, it's three eggs and one of them hatches. That's why it's absolutely positive those are not Daenerys's eggs. Right, but now they've, yes. No, I, I mean, I'm sure it's not the same in the book. I just think I, I, I welcome changes from the from the original text because they're already veering off of it and also like guys it's not long enough to do a show for very true and it skips too much time so they you just yeah if you're making a prequel it has to prequel a little that's true that's true yeah I was really fascinated by this episode I think it really used our actors in a way we haven't used it before we have we haven't been using them I even liked getting to know the personality of Bela like I thought was nice like and and also this her sister um got her little fight scene in um yeah so i just am feeling i'm feeling more optimistic after this episode it felt like a a real hot d episode thank you for sticking with us um you know we're all along for this ride let's see how it goes hopefully we'll just continue going up and up into the sky like a gray dragon that somebody tells me is green if you're not subscribed you're not subscribed to our channel we would love if you would subscribe to it you can like this video share it with your friends you can chat in the comments just it'd be cool if you didn't spoil things or didn't say oh wait until you see what so and so does like that's also spoiler guys just fyi um and i guess we'll catch you next week bye, bye.